guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support so I just want to make a quick announcement that I will be opening up my booking session so you guys will be able to book readings with me shortly so just be on the lookout for that i'll be posting more on my community board okay so in the month of november i'll be opening up my booking sessions okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about why are people sexually attracted to you so this is tarot after dark all right so pile number one you're going to be the rose quartz crystal Pile number two, you're going to be the green adventurine. Pile number three, you're going to be the um, smoky quartz crystal, okay? So pause this video if you must and meditate on the crystal that you feel most drawn to. And you'll be able to find your time stamp in the description box below. And I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi pal one, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. So my pal number one, you pick the rose quartz crystal. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous spell or previous readings. Okay. So starting from left to right, my pal number one, we have the Muse Tarot deck. Then the middle uh, deck is the Psychic Tarot. And the one on the far right is the, um, the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. So... Let's just get the big one. My pal number one, why are people sexually attracted to you? So what is it about you that, you know, turns people on? It could be physical. It could be your mental, the way you think, because not everybody's sexually attracted to people physically. It could be other things. Okay. So anything about you, same sex, opposite sex, doesn't matter. Okay. So let's get started. Sage, burn for me, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sorry, guys, I just really want to smudge first. Okay. So why are people sexually attracted to you, my pal number one? Why are people sexually attracted to you? Okay. Okay. Why are people sexually attracted to you, my pal number one? Why are people sexually attracted to you? My pile number one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So we have the star here, Aquarius um, energy. Uh, we have the world here, um, the world card, the sun here, Leo energy, and the hangman. And we have the seven of cups here. So I'm getting here. You look like a star. You look like um, you could be a star. You could be a movie star. You look like a celebrity. So this is like one thing like people like 
are attracted to celebrity because obviously they look good. Ob- we, obviously, we don't with the makeup and all of that good jazz, but still, like a lot of them actually do look good in real life. So this is what you have. You have that star it quality, okay? And I'm getting here that you could also be like um, have like your sun in Aquarius and your moon in Leo or vice versa but you could definitely have those two signs in your chart so with the Leo here you're full buoyant you are like the way you dress you're so sexy and elegant at the same time but with the Aquarius energy you have an unusual style even though you're full buoyant your style is unique and this is why like people think look at you as a star like you're so attractive there's something like um, exotic about your your look like you have a unique look okay and it's like you're one of a kind so it's like people are just attracted to your um i heard allure you're alluring like you you just have an exotic look that makes you like when people look at you they have like that double that double stare like you know they turn like their head like twice just to make sure that they saw what they saw like you know and they stare like i feel like a lot of people stare at you and with the seven of cups here um it seems like people are attracted to you because they want to feel desired by you because with the seven of cups it seems like you have a lot of options so people want to also feel desired by you they're they desire you but they want to look appealing to you because you're so attractive so you get a lot of like i'm I'm, i heard you get a lot of play so a lot of people like are attracted to you five of cups i'm getting like yeah a heartbreaker you look like a heartbreaker like a star like you have a lot of options and with the world here um i feel like there's a lot of people even online that lust after you that look at your pictures and like you know are really attracted to you i don't feel like you pose like you know uh provocative pictures but i feel like you have a very nice uh nice body i just heard megan fox like some of you may like megan fox or like you know um maybe you have like you know her eyes like she i think she has like blue green eyes maybe you have eyes like that like some of you have like those type of features and people find that exotic okay they were already in reverse if they were not in reverse i would have took them but they were like i want to make sure all the cars are upright sorry guys i should have done that before i started but I just realized these two were already in reverse, so. Um, okay, yeah, you see. Um, right. Okay, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Okay, so why are people sexually attracted to my pile number one? Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands um and no not the ace of wands the eight of wands sorry and the ace of cups why we have leo energy again and we have moon here pisces energy so you are like i said alluring there's like you have a mystery to you like you're so seductive and i'm getting like kind of like because um i'm getting rihanna bad gal like energy <laughs> bad gal wow like the type of girl that make like a man's like head spin or women like even the same thing like you know, like your energy is just so powerful with the strength here. And so, uh, like I said, for boy, like Leo, you know, like you're so, uh, not like that you're prideful, but like you take so care, like so much care of yourself and you feel high, like you think highly of yourself. So because you think highly of yourself, like your sexual energy, like just exudes. And because it exudes like naturally, you don't force it. It's just like, this is what attracts other people to you. Okay. You're like, you're, I I'm getting like that. Your sexual energy is potent. Okay. So with the ace of cups, like you're loving. So I feel like when people have interaction with you, it's just so easy to talk to you. So it's like, you know, like they could imagine themselves like having an experience with you. Like, I don't want to get too into too much details, but 
this is what they're like experiencing as well and it's like more like the sexual attraction to you is not like just like one night stand i'm not getting that i'm getting more like love making with the ace of, with the ace of uh, cups it's more like love making when they're like attracted to you like they just want to take their time they want to you know kiss you from head to toe you know rub your legs and stuff like that give you a massage before they get into the action like when they think of you when they're attracted to you that's like the images that they get of you whether male or female here like women wants to give you like a back rub you know take their time with you kiss your neck and all that good jazz you know <laughs> so that's what they like what the, they think of you when they think of you like in a sexual way okay but it's like you're so mysterious with the moon here so it's like I'm getting that they know that you don't kiss and tell. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting that, but like they get that vibe that you're not the type of person that like, let's say if you have like an experience, not like that you do one night stand, but like, let's say if you do have an experience with somebody, you're not going to be like the next day, like, yeah, I just, I, you know, whatever you're a male or female, you're not going to be like, yeah, I slept with this person or I did this with this person. It's really like, you know, you're private about that stuff. You know, you're, you're classy about that stuff. That's what I'm getting here. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal? Yeah, you see, high priestess, you know how to keep a secret. You know how to, not like a keep a secret in a sense that like you're trying to be sneaky, but you know how to keep your thing private. Like you're a private person. You're not going to talk about it with the whole world. Like if you do talk about it, it's going to be like with your close, close, tight friends or tight homies. And then even if you do, you're not going to go into too many details about what happened. Okay. But like I like I said, you're alluring with that's that's cancer energy. Like there's a soothing energy with you. Like they feel like your your sexual energy is potent, and not only not only that, it's like um, healing. Okay. What kind? Oh, you see, Ace of Pentacles, uh, Nine of Swords, and Six of Swords. Okay. So what I'm getting here with uh, the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, like it would be like um, an like a wonderful opportunity, like to just be in even in your presence. Like I feel like having like a, like you know the, the reason why they're attracted to you is also the fact that you're you're healthy because. Um, ace of pentacles is also like health you know it's not only financial wealth because health like being healthy is also wealth because when you're healthy you're able to work you're able to produce you're able to manifest great things because you're aligned with that healthy energy so you have a healthy like i said like a potent energy to you and this is why people are attracted to you you're you're stable in your energy your essence so having like you have like a magnetic pull and it's natural. It's like earthy and grounded. Okay. It's not like, um, out of this world. And they know like people, they could sense that you're not the type of person that like sleeps around, like you're grounded. Okay. So having an experience with you will be like, um, like therapeutic, you know, like, like I said, it's healing. You have a healing energy to you. This is why they're attracted to you. So like, like I said, it's like love making with you. Like that energy that they get with you is not like something that like in and out. No. Okay. And like with, um, the ace of source, it's also like the way you think, the way you speak. Okay. Like, I feel like you have a sexy voice here, an attractive voice. And with the six of swords, it's like, like you really respect yourself. You're not, a, you're not afraid to walk away. You're not afraid to like, you know what you want, you know who you are, and you know what you're going to stand for, and you know what you're not going to stand for. So people cannot just like walk all over you. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number one? Okay, so we have recognition and rewards. Why are... People sexually attracted. Okay, so we have uh, disruption. This is the tower and prosperity begins. The ace of pentacles again. Like I said, you're grounded. You have a grounding energy to you. And this is why people are sexually attracted to you is because like 
they know that an experience with you would be like fulfilling for them. They wouldn't have to look around for someone else. Like they, like they'll be satisfied with you. Okay. But what's the, with the tower, um, it's like, it's not easy to get around you because even with the hangman, like, um, I feel like you like to be alone and it's like hard to catch you. So, and I feel like you make people nervous. It's not like when they see you, they feel like they can have the guts to step up to you and talk to you. But once they get in your presence, because of like your sexual energy is so potent that like, you know, they get so nervous and they start like blushing and stuff like that. And you, you, you're probably looking at them like, what the heck is wrong with this person? Not knowing is because they're sexually attracted to you. And it's like, you make them nervous with the, with the tower here. Like that's the people that are sexually attracted to you. Like you, like they have that nervous energy around you. Okay. And recognition and rewards. It's like, like I said, you're grounded. You have a lot to offer. Okay. And it's just like, um, you know, that, uh, that meme there with Leonardo DiCaprio and where he's like, uh, he has his fist in his mouth where it's like, he's thinking about, uh, like the woman that has all the qualities that he's looking for in a partner. This is what like you have people do. And it's like, even like, not only are they sexually attracted to you, you have all the qualities that they look for. This is why I said love making the energy that you have, the sexual attraction that they have is not like just a one night stand where this, they just look at you like, uh, Oh, I just want to tap that ass. It's really not like that. I'm really not getting that energy. It's more like, yo, I really want to like, you know, this person is like really worth it. I really want to get to know them on a deeper level, but also I'm sexually attracted to them. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number? My pal number one. Why are people sexually attracted? Let me just get this one. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number one? Yeah, like I said, you don't sleep around. You see four of one, uh, four of pentacles. You hold back. You don't sleep around. You you're reserved. Okay. Yeah, you. You don't like, you're not fast. You hold back. You know, you're, you're not quick to make decision. You're not quick to like give yourself to somebody. They have to earn your trust. They have to work for you. Okay. And this is the reason why like it, it makes like people more attracted to you because like they know that like if they ever have you, they know that it's like they have something that's precious, that's worthy, that's valuable. Okay with the uh, prosperity begins, you know, you bring prosperity, like they can build something solid with you. It's not just the physical, it's more than that. Okay. Why are people sexually attracted? Yeah. The death card. You're so seductive. You're so alluring. We have all the water signs here because we have Pisces with the moon here. We have uh, high priestess uh, cancer and then we have death, which is Scorpio. So you have a lot of water sign. Like maybe you have you are a water sign or have water placement in your chart, but you're so alluring. Like I said, I said Rihanna. Rihanna is a Pisces. Bad girl. Like you have bad girl energy. Like star. You see, like I said, star energy. Okay. You are alluring and it's not easy to get with you. You hold back. You don't like your energy. Like you know what you have to offer. So like if somebody's going to get with you, they're going to have to work for it and prove their worth to you because you know what you bring to the table. And this is what makes you so sexually attractive because it's like that energy, whoever gets it is going to be the luckiest person. Like they're going to feel like the, they won like a jackpot, you know, this is what I'm getting here. All right. So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. So pal number two, you pick the green adventuring crystal. So this is going to be your reading, okay? 
So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So that way we don't pick up the energy of previous pals or previous readings, okay? Okay. So starting from left to right, my pal number two, uh, we have the Muse Tarot deck. The one in the middle is the Psychic Tarot. And the one on the far right is the Radiant Wise uh, Spirit Tarot. So why are people sexually attracted to you, my pal number one? Um, sorry, my pal number two. Why are people sexually attracted to you, my pal number two? Okay, let's get started. Why are people sexually attracted to you, my pal number two? We have the magician. Why are people sexually attracted to you, my pal number two? Why are people sexually attracted to you? Why are people sexually attracted to you? Wow. Damn. Because you're a sexy ass mother soka. Because we have the king of wands and the queen of wands. Hot tamale. Like hot mommy caliente. Like papi chulo. Yo. Pouchon in Creole. What? Pouchon. You're just hot. That's basically it. Like, <laughs> I, know, I don't know what else to tell you. Like, you just, you're a walking god, walking goddess. Like, you're just exotic, okay? With the magician here, like, you just have everything going on for yourself, okay? Because the magician is all the elements together. So, like, you are highly intelligent. You know how to have a conversation. So, you know how to captivate people's mind you are emotionally intelligent so you know how to read a room you are like you exude fire within you okay you know how to go after your passion so i feel like also the way you walk the way you walk is like you have like that i heard that catwalk that naomi campbell type of walk like i feel like some of you have long beautiful legs this is why like people are sexually attracted to your long, beautiful, like model legs. Okay. So when you walk in the room, like you catch people's attention, like you stop, like you're a showstopper. This is what I'm getting. Okay. Whether male or female here. Okay. You're a showstopper. I'm getting somebody who likes to dress up nice, that likes to get their hair, their hair done, their nails done, everything like for the women and for the men, the men that likes to go and get like, you know, their fades, you know, like get their lineup, get their beard done, everything like nice and they, those type of people that get facial and get manis and petties, I'm getting like that type of vibe, okay? Like you have like so much like self-respect, like you're like, you don't put yourself in a situation where people don't respect you with the eight of cups here with the three of wands. Like you're passionate. Like I'm really getting somebody who's passionate, who goes after their goals. Like, I feel like some of you like the rock. I don't know why I just got the rock, but the rock is like a fire sign. He's a Leo. So I'm getting like, you guys, I like this, like, this like personality that where people like just love you they love to be around you and it's just like there's other people like just like that turns them on it's just so sexy you know yeah ace of cups what is why are people sexually attracted to my chariot to my pal number two this is uh cancer energy chariot and we have gemini um and Virgo energy, the fool here, Leo, um, not Leo, sorry, but definitely be a Leo, um, Aries energy. Why are people sexually attracted? Four of wands. Yeah. They see you as like, um, 
something like somebody like worth like being around like celebrating with the ace of cups here like oh you know what i just heard uh you know that boys to men song i'll make love to you like you want me to <laughs> that, like this is what you guys do with the ace of cups like people are just mesmerized by you i feel like you have like like there's something so youthful and healthy about you whatever your age you just exude like youthfulness okay no matter what age you are so like whether you're in your age group like people know your age but like you just something so youthful about you and they know that like an experience with you would be so much fun like you like you seem like you're adventurous that you're willing to um explore different like things you know not like i don't know about like different like you know sexual things but i mean like you know maybe do it in different places and stuff like that so that's what i'm getting like you're more fun you're more adventurous and that's what i'm getting so people could like sense that from you with the fool here you like to take risk okay so with the chariot here like you are like you go after what you want, okay? You're a go-getter, okay? Like, I feel like you don't let nothing stand in your way and you don't conform to society's rule. You make your own rules. You, like, walk to the beat of your own drums and people love that. Like, it's just so, whether male or female here, you just have that zest for life and this is what's, like, so sexually, like, attracted. Like, people just want to, like be in your presence i'm really getting that and like just being like just hearing you talk is just like a turn on for some people like just the way you talk is just like you don't try like i'm getting like you it sounds like you're flirting when you talk to people but you're not it's just that you're so charming and you're so nice and you know how to you know the art of conversation so you you know you know how to seduce people without seducing them just the way you talk and it's like they get turned on by you. And it's just like, you're like, whoa, I'm just having conversation. I'm just trying to be nice. And then these people are already having like some next level fantasy about you. So this is what I'm getting. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number one? Uh, I keep saying pal number one. Pal number two. Sorry, guys. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number two spirit? Okay. Wow, we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Swords. Like I said, I'm really getting your voice. Like the way you talk, you're a flirt. You know how to, um, you know, you ask the right questions. And I just also, I'm really getting like, is the tone, how you ask the question. And it seems like you're having like, um, you know, a more of an intimate conversation, but really you're just... You, that's just who you are as a person okay and the ace of pentacles like you're grounded okay you have a down-to-earth energy to you the two of cups yeah like you're really like you have like you make them want to have like a real like intimate relationship with you like a strong connection a sexual connection okay not just you know one night stand i'm really not getting that wow the star aquarius energy because you're the star here this is why i kept on saying pound number one it makes a lot of sense now but yeah so definitely like the star maybe you got you guys want to go watch pound number one but only if you feel drawn to but i kept on saying pound number one there's a reason why if you do watch pound number one you'll understand why so like the star here, like I'm really getting, like I said, you have like that flamboyant energy. You have like, you are like, you have that je ne sais quoi to you. Okay. Because of you, the star, there's something about you. Like we have the ace of cups, ace of pentacles, ace of swords. We're just missing the ace of wands. And we have, like I said, the magician, the full package. Okay. You have everything, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you look, you know, the way you think, everything about you is just so sexy okay why are people sexually attracted to my pal number two spirit why are people sexually attracted to my pal number two ten of swords they wanted to come out and then i i put it back but it came out again yeah it's like 
it feels like you're a heartbreaker. Like you could put things to rest. Like, you know, you could end things with people. It's like you give that vibe that like, you know, like you're the type of person that like if the person doesn't please you that's the vibe that you're giving giving okay i'm not saying that's who you are that's just from other people's perspective and the way they look at you sexually it's like they look at you as if like you're the type that could have sex with them one time and be like ah if i you don't like it bye like this is what they're getting with the ten of swords and i'm not saying that's how you are or who you are but that's their perspective of you when they look at you in a sexual way okay the way you what you exude okay it's like you're you are in in control of your sexual energy and you know how to not to use it to your, your advantage you know how to control that energy you don't let it control you so people cannot like um try to seduce you with sex like it doesn't work with you like you know your power you know your energy so you know how to channel it to make it work in your favor for you temptation what did i say guys you guys are just sexy seduce like I'm getting like seductive, so seductive, like an energy of seduction. Okay. Maybe some of you read the art of seduction, the book we have Leo energy light. Didn't I say, I did say Leo at the beginning. Like I said, moving on. Then I say 10 of swords. You're not afraid to move on. Okay. Like if let's say if something is not working for you, if you have an encounter with somebody, you're not afraid to be like, okay, well, this is not working out for me. And I know what I want. I know this is not it. Um, no hard feelings, but it is what it is. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. Like, this is how other people are seeing you on their, their side. Okay. But they're seeing you as so tempting, like just being in your presence. Like you just make their body like shiver. Like they just get so nervous just being in your, just around you. Okay. You exude like this wonderful energy. You're so powerful. I'm getting like a powerful person here. Like if whether you know it or not, you come off like that. And sexually, like, you're just so magnetic, so um, tempting, okay? Like, temptation, like, tempting. You're so tempting. Like, people just want, like, I feel like people just want, like, kiss you, but they hold themselves back. That's just how tempting you are. And I feel like they, people, like, sometimes when you talk, you find them, like, just staring at you. And then you're like, hello, like, did you hear what I just said? And then they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Can you repeat what you said? It's because they were just in another world looking at you, looking at your lips and wondering, oh my God, like what it would be like to kiss you. This is what like people think when they're like looking at you and then just being lost in their thoughts. And you're like wondering what the hell is wrong with this person, but they're just thinking about like what, how they could just, you know, you know, tap that ass, you know, <laughs> like with the temptation here, like, like I said, moving on, meaning you're able to cut off communication, cut off, like just go cold turkey on somebody and not feel no type of way because you know who you are. And it's like, okay, well, if you're not able to give me what I know I'm worth, I know I can get it somewhere else. Okay. And it's like, you're not doing it to be like, um, like an a-hole or a B. It's just like, you know who you are and you're not going to waste your time and you're not going to wait that, waste that person's time. So you're just going to save everybody the energy and then you're just going to go your way and the person's going to go their way. And I feel like people view you as such. Okay. But they know that like with you, it's like, if they ever have like an encounter with you, they know they'll be hooked with the temptation. They'll be hooked they'll come back for more. Okay. I feel like you have some exes that still like stuck to you. Yeah. Four of wands again. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number two spirit? Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number two? Wow. Nine of cups and the sun here. We have the sun twice. Cause this is the sun, the light, the sun, Leo energy. Yeah. You're so full buoyant. You're, um, just, um, I'm getting exotic. Okay. I'm getting somebody who's powerful, who's super sexy, regal. Okay. We have, you are wish fulfillment like the star cause wish fulfillment is like similar to the star card. Okay. And we have the star here. You are wish fulfillment. Like you are like very, like, um, I'm getting like for the men here, you have like, like a nice, uh, physique, you work out, you're like, you're muscular. You have like that Cobra shape body, <laughs> like damn puppy. <laughs> 
yeah, you have that body and like you just wish fulfillment. And the women here, you have like either you're petite, but you are like you have, you know, your shape in the right places. And whether whatever size you are, whether petite or plus size, you are sh- like you have the nice Coke bottle body shape and it's natural. OK, like all natural. And it's just like you have that look that like people, the opposite sex or the same sex desires in the partner. OK. You see, we have the ace of pentacles again. You're grounded. You have like, you have like a grounded energy to you. Like you have an earthy, like I'm getting earthy energy. And it's like your beauty. Like I feel like whether male or female, the other reason why people are sexually attracted to you is because of your beauty. You have like a natural beauty to you. It's like you, it's effortless beauty where you don't put a lot of makeup. Like maybe you just put like a little bit of um, concealer or eyeshadow or something like that, or like not eyeshadow, um, lashes and you do your brows and stuff and you, you wear your hair nice and then you're good to go and the men here like i said like you do your 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 lineup and your beard and everything or whatever it is that you do to groom yourself you do it nicely and you 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 keep yourself like uh you're well kept okay and this is another reason why people are sexually attracted to you they know that like you know like you're you you're i'm getting like your personal hygiene as well like you're very clean they could tell by the way you carry yourself okay why are people sexually attracted to my pal number two spirit? Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. You have a loving energy to you as well. Like, it's sweet. This is why they're sexually attracted to you. Like I said, when you talk, okay? It's like so innocent, like... You're not trying to be uh, seductive. It's just the way you are naturally because of like, you know, you just, your essence to the, the essence that you have as well. It is tempting. It is strong. It is powerful. It is magnetic. It pulls people in, you know, but it's just innocent because you're not forcing it. And it's not like, it's not, the, people don't feel like you're forcing them to be attracted to you. You're not forcing it. You're just naturally like that. And this is why people are just even more attracted to you because it's like you're not doing it on purpose. That's just who you are. Okay. All right, my pal number two. So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, Bell 3. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. So, my pal number three, you picked the Smoky Quartz Crystal. So, this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings. Okay, so my pal number three, starting from left to right, we have... The Muse Tarot a deck. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, the one in the middle is a Psychic Tarot, and the one on the far right is a Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Okay. So let's get started. Let's get started. Why are people sexually attracted to you? Why are people sexually attracted to you, my pal? Number three. Why are people sexually attracted to you, my pal? Number three. Okay, so let's get started.
why are people sexually attracted to you my pal number two uh sorry number three okay why are people sexually attracted to you wow okay um okay so we have the two of wands we have um the strength here leo energy we have the sun here leo energy again we have the four uh, i mean the nine of pentacles so what i'm getting here at, oh sorry in the eight of cups so what I'm getting here is that you have like a regal energy to you, okay? Um, you're exotic looking with the sun here, the strength here. I feel like you have beautiful long hair, like you have um, curly um, long hair. Like your curls are like your curl patterns are really uh, big, okay? And I feel like you like to wear your hair like big, like um, like a lion, okay? And this is what something that people find like really attractive to you because like they think about like touching, running their fingers through your hair, like just touching your hair, like your hair looks like soft and healthy. And this is a and like a reason why people are sexually attracted to you is like just the way your hair flows like when you walk in the wind how it blows like and it flows and it just bounce when you walk it's just like you know when you shake your hair it's like just so beautiful it's just so magnetic whether male or female here if you are a male here i i heard like men bun like maybe you like to wear your hair in a bun and then women find that so attractive like they want to just touch your hair just want to caress it like just want to run their figure through your hair i'm really getting that okay I'm getting like you are athletic build. You have a, like a really athletic physique. So your physique is very attracted to the opposite sex and same sex. Like just the way you're built, like you're so um, athletic. I feel like you work out here. It's like your muscle tone, your legs. I feel like your butt, you have like a bubble butt for the women here, like a nice firm butt. And like for the men here, like muscular tone, like, like I heard your calves, like your calves, like I feel like I heard soccer legs. Some of you play soccer here, like the men or even the women here, you could play soccer too. It's not only for men, but I'm getting like athletic. You have an athletic build and people find like that so sexually attractive. Like I feel like when you work out at the gym, like some of you like are gym rats. I heard like, like to work out like five times a week. I feel like you have some people at your gym that fantasize about you, that watch you. Like, you catch them watching you sometimes when you're, like, on, I heard a treadmill. When you're running on a treadmill, I feel like you, you catch them watching you, okay? Like, the, the regulars. I heard regulars. People that you always see often when you work out, like, around the same time as you. I feel like they watch your schedule so that way they try to come around when you always come. So that's why you always see them, okay? Like if that resonates with you, it's like some people at your gym are like sexually attracted to you and they watch you like when you're on the treadmill, when you're running, okay? I'm really getting like it's your body, your your physique. Why are people sexually attracted to my pile number why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three? Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three? Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three, Spirit? Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three? Why are people three of cups? Okay, is there another one? No. Okay, so we have the High Priestess, Cancer Energy. So some of you are Cancer, Leo, Cusp, or have those two in your, um, in your chart. We have the Eight of Wands, King of Swords, and Three of Cups. I'm really getting here that also... With your energy, your sharpness, uh, your mind, your intellect, okay? Like people that are, are attracted to people that are intelligent, they find you sexually attracted because like the conversation that you have, like they fantasize about having like a amazing conversation with you after like, you know, you guys get, get to the get down, okay? 
and it's like with the eight of wands, like some of you for the men here, women feel like you could last long. Like I heard well endowed. Okay. I'm so sorry, guys. That's what I heard. I feel like women like look at you like for the men that because of your, um, athletic build, they feel like you're healthy. Like you have like, um, healthy one. Okay. That you could last long more than like, I heard more than an hour. That's what I heard guys. I'm so sorry. I have to say what I heard, but like, this is how, like what women are like, think about you when they look at you. Okay. Some of them, they see you as like being able to handle like for the men, I'm really getting for the men that more than one partner with the three of cups here, if you know what I mean. I don't have to go into too many details, but yeah, this is what I'm getting here, okay? And some of them, they wouldn't mind, but it's really your mind, okay? You have also with the um, high priestess, I'm getting like you are alluring, okay? It's like there's something about you, you're mysterious, uh, like you have a mystique vibe to you, and they find that so sexy, we have the six of pentacles, okay? They feel like you you seem like a pleaser, okay? With the six of uh, pentacles, like somebody who likes to equal give and take. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number? Oh, marriage material with the hair fan. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three with the page of cups here? Uh... Okay, so what I'm getting here with the five of swords, I know five of swords is like conflict and stuff like that, but I'm not getting conflict. I'm ta I'm getting like you like to, it seems like you like to talk-ish when you're in the bedroom. This is why people, because of like the way you talk, like the, the conversation, so people like could fantasize about like how you talk dirty to them in their ears while, you know, you guys are getting down. Like people fantasize about that. That's why they're attracted to you because they, they feel like when you talk, like the way you express yourself, like, there's certain like the kind of jokes that you make sometimes could like hint that you talk dirty okay like you don't you don't talk dirty to people but just certain things that you say could like have like that undertone that sexual undertone to you okay with the like i said with the page of cups like the way you like you talk sweet in the ears but you have like a little like a little bit of dirt like it's a little bit dirty okay but I'm really getting with the hair fact here. Like love, okay? Marriage material. People want to make love to you. Like you are, they see you as like, um, like you're a pleaser, okay? That like you're equal give and take in the relationship, okay? And that's what they're sexually attracted to you. They know that like they'll be satisfied if they like, you know, have an encounter with you. <clears throat> why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three we have okay so we have the king of pentacles and the ten of cups yeah like i said they could see you as marriage material build a family with you okay they're attracted to you for the long haul it's like you know they want to build with you they see you as like somebody who is stable that has a lot to offer with the nine of pentacles here you live a life of luxury your high your high um high value woman high value man the star here okay like the star has been coming out like whoa all right, so definitely the star here. So you're, you're like you feel. I feel like you're superstar. So let me just get one more card so that way I can read them properly. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three spirit? Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three? Okay, so we have the queen of wands here. So definitely fire, like, you know, you have that fire in you. You are, you exude this magnetic pull. You're like flamboyant. Like I'm keep, I kept on getting that the whole, like just the whole uh, reading, like somebody who's just exotic, that exudes a lot of like magnetic energy, somebody who's passionate, like 
even when you speak, like I said, when you speak, you speak with passion, you speak with authority, you, you speak with confidence, you exude something like an energy when like you walk in the room, like you catch everybody's attention as well when you walk in the room with the, the strength and the, um, the sun here. And like I said, like you, you seem like, I feel like you um, seem like you talk a little bit dirty, but like you don't talk dirty when you talk with people, but there's something about you that give it up that you do. Like if you were in bed with somebody that you would like talk dirty to them, spank, like do a little bit of spanking and stuff like that. I heard that. So like I said, for the men, you seem like you're healthy, like you can last more than an hour. I have to say that again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But like with the Ten of Cups, like they see you as like able to fulfill their needs. Like I said, you are a pleaser. You seem like a pleaser to the opposite sex or the same sex. Okay. Like you're a pleaser. You know how to satisfy your partner. You know how to, you know how to make sure that the other person is pleased. Okay. You don't, you're not selfish. This is what I'm getting. Okay. With the, uh, King of Pentacles being here. You're grounded in your energy, okay? Your energy is grounded. Your energy is healing. Your sexual energy that you exude is healing, okay? Why are people sexually attracted to my pile number? That's the four of wands. Pile number three. Why are people sexually attracted to my pile number three? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, grounded energy. Why are people... The truth. Wow. This is um, judgment. So what I'm getting here is, like I said, your mind, the way you think... Uh, people like find that so sexually attracted it's like they could have like conversation with you afterwards after like the experience that you guys have it's not like just going to be some boring like just sex and then after that like you guys turn your back on each other after the session it's like you guys would cuddle you guys would talk about certain topics like you know, it's like more, it's like it would like the connection. Let's say if you do have sex with like the, the person that are like sexually attracted to you, if you have sex with them, they know that after the experience, there's going to be a connection that's beyond the physical. And this is what you bring with prosperity begins. Like they know that like, it's like a secure bond, like a solid bond because it, like that's the vibe that you give as well. That if you were to have sex with somebody, it's not just um one night and then bye like it's like you want to have a connection with this person you want to dive deep with this person and get to know them on a spiritual level okay because like your leo energy leos don't like i'm not getting like i me personally from my experience leos don't like to sleep around they're very selective with who they um, express their energy with they like to leo like to have the best of the best okay so they're not going to just sleep with everybody if you want the best how are you going to go just with anybody right you have to be selective so this is what i'm getting here that you're selective with your energy you're selective with who you share yourself with you don't just share yourself with anybody anybody and you are alluring you are private as well okay i'm not i didn't get the um i got the hair front which is taurus energy tauruses are, are private they don't like to be in the mix with everybody okay they like to they like tauruses they don't like change they like to follow a certain routine and they like to stick to it they don't really they don't really mesh well with change okay because they're stubborn they don't like to change things if something works for them they're gonna stick to it so i'm getting that vibe from you as well okay so if something sticks with you like it works for you why are you gonna like you know, if it's not broken, why try to fix it, right? That's that's for you. Like you're like that, okay? And you're traditional with the with the ten of ten of cups and the and the hair font. You're a traditional person, okay? You like to do things by the book. You like to you like to be serious when it comes to emotion, when it comes to sex. Like I really the reason why, like I said, your mind is like I feel like when you have a conversation with people, they could tell that you take sex seriously. You, it's not just an act where you do it for fun. Like if you're going to have sex with somebody, it's like a, it's like a responsibility for you to like know that you're giving a part of yourself that you can never get back. So you take it really seriously and people could sense that about you and they find that like so sexually attracted because they know that like 
if I sleep with this person, if I am ever with this person, I know that not a lot, not a lot of people had this person, not a lot of been uh, people been with this person. So it's like, it's pure. It's like refreshing. It's like, um, it's loving. And I feel like some of you even here could be like virgin or like even celibate here. Okay. Um, so why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three? Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three spirit? Why are they sexually attracted to my pal number three? Why are they sexually attracted to my pal number three? Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three? Okay. So we have the temperance here. Let me get one more card. Why are people sexually attracted to my pal number three? You see what I said? Six of pentacles. You're a pleaser. You know how to please your partner. You don't, you're not selfish. We have the six of cups here. Okay. So you have a vibe to you where people feel like they could establish something with you with the four of wands here. I forgot to talk about the four of wands. This is the four of wands firm foundation. So like I said, you are somebody that they could feel like they can build something with. Okay. Like you don't give yourself up easily. You're reserved. I'm getting a reserved energy, but also a powerful regal energy to you. Okay. You have a strong presence when you walk in the room, like you actually your presence is felt okay but your sexual energy also is felt but it's a pure energy it's like a cleanse energy where it's like t not tainted it's not like your energy is not vulgar okay with the page of swords i'm getting here is like also your curious mind how your mind is always like open to new possibilities like you're always curious you're always um learning so it's another, like I said, not everybody is sexually attracted to people physically. Some of them are attracted to people's mind. So I'm getting that you, your physical and your mind is beautiful. It's um, sexy, okay? And this is another reason why people are sexually attracted to you. And like, you know, you know the art of conversation. You know how to have conversation with people. You know how to talk, okay? And like you, you have a beautiful mind, like the conversation that you have with people is like mesmerizing. And like I said, patience, like I said, some of you could be virgins and some of you could be um, celibate with the temperance here. Like, okay. Holding yourself back, you know, reframing yourself from like your abstinence. I heard abstinence from some of you have abstinence from sex. Maybe you had sex before and your abstinence now, like I said, celibate or virgins where you never had sex before and you're holding yourself back with the hair front for marriage. Like I said, you're traditional and people like that about you. Okay. They're sex. They find that like very sexually attractive because they know that like your energy is like pure and like, um, you know, there's not a lot of like, you don't have a lot of like energy or baggage within you. Okay. And it's like so sexually appealing. It's like fresh, refreshing that energy that you have, that you exude. Okay. And this is why people are sexually attracted to you. Okay. Like, like I said, this energy is pure with the six of soul. It's the six of, um, six of cups here. Okay. That pure loving energy. Okay. Innocence. All right, so that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.